Hey everybody, Mike and Wrench Mike. We're coming to you from my kitchen today, and I happen to have a couple of things that are going to solve the problem with the Disco Inferno. If you haven't seen the video on the engine fire, you need to check it out. <laughs> this video is going to get that 190E, hopefully, back on the road. I have my hot little hand right here, the fuel distributor, which is not distributing fuel very well. So we're gonna take this thing apart and I'll show you how to put it back together. Hopefully it works. And in my little hand right here, I have a bag of goodie parts. And this, I think, is one of the reasons that car just won't start. You really have to be kidding me, right? See all the little pistons? Mine, it looks like snow. Come on, car, you're floored. I'm flooring a V12 engine. You thought this was gonna be perfect, right? Why can't I, like, fall in love with a Lexus? Monkey. Monkey. Wrench. Wrench. Mike. Mike. Yay! I'm That's in the car. Yep, this thing is clogged. Fuel was coming in, it was not going out. That's one of the problems. I also visited my local junkyard and I grabbed some fuel injectors. I grabbed six. These come out of a 190, or not 190, they're going into a 190 either coming out of a 300E. Same part number, same fuel injector. There was fuel coming into and going out of these, so I'm hoping that they work. We're still gonna clean them because they're horrible. Look at that. Look how bad they are. And it's only the best for the Disco Inferno. Yep, that's what I'm calling the 190E. So I have some really good stuff that we're going to use. I've been saving this for just the right car. I didn't use it in the S63, one of my favorite all times car. I want one of my favorite cars of all time. Getting ahead of myself. And I didn't use this for the S500. No, I'm gonna use this for the super cheap 190E because she deserves some good stuff. Not regular old seafoam for you, beauties. You get the good stuff, okay? And then I'm gonna clean the injector housings and some other stuff. Let's just do the whole thing, all right? Look at that. These guys are gonna have some fun in the sauna. Welcome back to my laboratory. Yep, we have Lola who is in her crate right there, freshly groomed, might I add, and she looks beautiful. Maybe I'll let her out and you guys can witness her in all of her glory. This has seen better days. This is one of the two reasons why the car is not starting. So in this video, we are going to use this repair kit to rebuild it, okay? This is the fuel distributor. We're gonna remove this. We're going to take it all apart, put in all these nice little parts, and I'm not gonna show you exactly how to do that um, because there's lots of videos out there on the web to do that. We are back and you can tell, yep, we're going hardcore. That thing was so dirty, I had to go out and buy an ultrasonic cleaner. Okay, this thing is so, I'm hoping it's not too clogged up. Okay, the uh, fuel injectors look like this. That's after soaking and scrubbing. I just, I'm just kind of worried about everything right now. So we're going to give them a bath. We're gonna see how this stuff does. This is the super-sized bottle. I hope it's enough. I just got one bottle. And it may not. Well, we'll see what happens. We're just gonna see what happens. Okay, there goes our sea foam. Now, the piece de resistance. We have the top part. Well, that looks much better than it was. That looks a lot better than it was. Okay. 
She's coming along nicely. I'm just gonna put you in there. Most of it's underneath. So let's do maximum time. Put our little top on and hit on. Lola doesn't know what to do. Can you see her back up right there? Hi, Lola. See your new haircut? She's beautiful. Aren't you beautiful? But we're focused on this. We're gonna let this kind of go through a couple of cycles. Then we'll put the fuel injectors in and then we will put in the bottom half. And hopefully, fingers crossed, everything will be looking beautiful. But I got little bubbles coming out. This is cool. The whole thing isn't underwater, but the important part is. That's looking good. I feel like I'm making dinner. Okay, we got both halves in my crock pot. And I wanna show you what's going on. Look at that. Check out all that action. Yeah, I love it when the little bubbles start coming up through the little nooks and crannies of a part. That's really cool. So we'll run this through a couple of cycles. We will clean these off and then we'll throw those injectors in there and I'll show you what that looks like. That's not gonna be so pretty as this. Yeah, those injectors are dirty. Now it is time to cook up some fuel injectors. And these things have been soaking for a long, long time. And I've scrubbed them and I've done all kinds of things to them, all legal. But it's time for a bath and we're gonna see just how dirty they get because look at the water. Now a lot of that, most of that is probably just external dirt. Hopefully that didn't come out from the inside of these injectors. And I don't have the proper equipment to pressure test them and clean them from the inside. I haven't bought that tool from Kent Bergsma where you, it's a pump, because those are activated by pressure. So we'll hope that this is going to actually help. Turn it on. Ooh, let there be life, baby. Okay, we're gonna cook this for a couple of cycles, rotating them, and look how dirty the water's getting already. Look at that. Okay, we're back. I have included a couple more pieces. Yep, that piece for the fuel distributor. There's that teeny tiny, it's a minuscule little screen. Right there, it's not a screw, it's a teeny tiny screen. And then I put in another one of the ports just to kind of clean that up. So we're gonna cook this a couple of cycles and let that go. But while this is cooking, we can get back started on the fuel distributor and all the o -rings. And just like that, we have a newly rebuilt KE Jetronic unit that is ready to reinstall into the car. It is working perfectly. This is the most important part right here. You want this to move freely. See, see how it moves? Maybe I'll go like that. Boom, boom, boom. Because this is what pushes the, th pushes the throttle plate. Yep, and it's moving beautifully. So we're gonna go and install this and see if it worked. Guess where I am? Yep, we are back and we have completed the rebuild of the fuel distributor, and I only had a couple of leftover parts. No, I didn't. All the parts are there. I also have the fuel injectors that are newly cleaned, and I have little fuel injector housing, and just in case, all kinds of little fuses as well. So we're gonna get to work on this old girl. We're gonna put the fuel distributor in, we're gonna attach it up, and we're gonna cross our fingers and turn the key. So let's get to work. You think she's gonna start? I don't see any leakages. All right, let there be life. <laughs> He's laughing at my car. So am I. <laughs> <laughs> 